example, I'm going to demonstrate the jQuery dot hover and how it works. And um, just as a quick little example of how it works, you can see the console when my mouse hovers over it, it says mouse enter, and when it leaves, it says mouse leave. Now uh, we're going to just quickly go to the code, and you can see kind of how I'm doing this. I'm using the dot hover. Now the dot hover is something that jQuery added as more of a convenience. Uh, to, uh, instead of using just solid uh, JavaScript, JavaScript doesn't really have a on hover command. CSS does, uh, but Jake for JavaScript doesn't. It has what's called a mouse enter and a mouse leave. That's why I use these keywords. Now, we're only going to be using jQuery for this, so let's just show you how everything works. The traditional way and this is obviously some jQuery, is there's a mouse enter listener. And I'm going to call a function. And I'm going to just do a console saying uh, Test, test. We're going to refresh our page, and you can see that now when I hover over it, it does that. Now I have to enter it for it to actually work, and you can see this ticker going up. Now, there is this other one that you can also do and add a separate listener for a mouse.leave. So we'll do this, and now we can see that I have test, test, and then leaving. Te test, test, and leaving. Now what the jQuery hover does is it really just combines the two. So I'm going to do my selector. And when I type dot hover, there's actually two different um, positions in here, or two different functions. We do this. That's the mouse enter. And the next function is the mouse leave. So we can go in here and just say a console.log, and we're going to call enter. And then in this one, we're going to do a console.log, and we're going to call it a leave. And let's just go ahead and remove this. I'm going to refresh my page, and you can see enter and leave. Now, of course, if you don't like all this code, you can also use um, like jQuery uh, handles. So let's go ahead and say, uh, or you use function handles. So we're going to call this uh, my enter. I'm going to call this my enter function. And you can actually actually just do this. Simple my enter. And we'll do the same thing, but we're going to call it a my leave. Let's go ahead and call this leave. Make sure we put some, make it so it looks nice. We're going to go ahead and replace this function with the handle. And now what this will do is it'll say for when, for the dot hover function, call this function on the enter, call this function on the leave. And you can see that it does work. Now, this is really beneficial if you want to maybe add a class or something. Maybe you want to do something that uh, CSS, um, like the CSS command where you go maybe dot box and then hover. 
maybe if that doesn't do the trick for you um, and you need to do something more custom, this is going to be a great fix for you. Anyway, if you like this video, please feel free to like it, subscribe to my videos for future reference, and check out bratsky.tv for, for all my videos. Have a good day.